Hey everybody, welcome into another gaming news reactions video here on the Arena Productions, your go-to spot for gaming news reactions and in-depth discussions in the world of video games and game development. So today we're diving into a topic that stirred quite the conversation in the gaming world and beyond. So the cancellation of Rise of the Ronin in South Korea. Now, of course, I have to say before moving on here, I do live out here in Japan. I've been living out here for over 20 years and I am a student of Japanese history. Uh, so I had to marinate on this a little bit before making this video uh, because it stirred up some feelings for me, but uh, I wanted to, to, uh, to talk about this a little bit uh, and to get it out there. So yeah, Rise of the Ronin, it's a highly anticipated PS5 exclusive RPG. It was set to launch globally in, in March uh, of this year, but however, recent developments have led to its cancellation in South Korea. And this decision stems from a comment made by the game's director, which has reignited historical tensions between South Korea and Japan. Uh, so the, the heart of the controversy lies in the portrayal of Yoshida Shoin, a historical figure with a complex legacy, particularly regarding his views on imperialism and the subjugation of Korea. So this has led South Korea to take a firm stand against the release of the game within its borders, a move that, while unfortunate for South Korean gamers, highlights the country's right to protect its cultural and historical integrity. So for gamers in South Korea looking forward to Rise of the Roni, this, this news is undoubtedly disappointing. But however, it's important to remember that there are alternative avenues to access the game, such as international online stores or different regions' PlayStation stores. So while gamers should always have the freedom to choose their experiences, this situation, I feel, serves as a reminder of the importance of historical context in gaming. Video games are a powerful medium for storytelling and education, capable of exploring complex characters and events. As such, developers have a responsibility to present historical figures and their actions with accuracy and sensitivity, offering players a comprehensive understanding of their motives and the impact uh, they've had on history. So, you know, Rise of the Ronin presents an opportunity to explore a pivotal moment in Japanese history, uh, the Boshin War and the Meiji Restoration, uh, and, and of course the Bakumatsu era. So it's a chance to dive deep into the era's complexities, the ideologies that shaped it, and the consequences of those ideas. By doing so th uh, thoughtfully, games can enrich our understanding of the past and encourage meaningful dialogue about its revel relevance to our present and future. So. The cancellation of Rise of the Ronin in South Korea is more than a gaming controversy. It's it's a reflection of the ongoing journey towards reconciliation and understanding between nations. So it's 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 a call to game developers to wield their craft with care, respecting history and its survivors while provide providing players with enriching experiences. So what are your thoughts on this issue? Should should games strive for historical accuracy and sensitivity or its creative freedom uh, more important? Let's discuss uh, in the comments. Uh, and uh, if you like our content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell for when we drop another gaming news reactions video, as well as all of our other content here on the Arena Productions. So yeah, when it comes to historical accuracy, I'm really looking forward to playing it and seeing how accurate it is. Uh, so uh, yeah, let us know in the comments what you feel about all this. So anyway, thank you so much and have a great week of gaming. We hope to catch you in the next one. So take care, everyone. Peace out.